Alan Walker Alan Walker has released a new album titled Who I Am on January 20, 2024. A stunning collaboration between Alan Walker, Putri Ariani and Peter Elias. The music video has stolen the world's attention, having received so many positive responses and reactions from people all over the world. To date, the music video Who I Am has been watched by more than 19 million YouTube users around the world. So, let's take us back to the beginning of Who I Am. This time, it was with the amazing Putri Ariani. We bonded during our rehearsals, and I was really inspired by her story. Would you ever consider making a song together? I hope so. She reminded me of a song I was working on at a time based on my own journey as an artist. I realized she would be perfect for it. Only two months later, I flew her down to Oslo to record. So already from the very beginning you can see uh, the walker world tickets uh, which basically indicates that we are in the walker world theme park. So what we did want to create in this music video was that it would be like a void of memories. So you can see how I transformed from the video game character to the real me, myself. Ellen, I, I can definitely hear you a lot in this song. <sighs> oh my god. Wow. Beautiful production, beautiful arrangement, beautiful vocal. Their voices together sound amazing. Oh my god, I just got so many goosebumps all over. It sounds like it should be like in all fantasy movies and all of these, these, these. I don't know, like it has something very beautiful about it. Do you promise me to play this on repeat? Putri ngerasa bahwa lagu ini it's very represented me gitu. Karena lagu ini itu buat Putri adalah ketika kita itu bisa untuk being true to ourselves dan no matter what they say, no matter um, apa yang orang-orang bilang tentang kita, selama kita masih dalam konteks yang positif, kita tetap bisa jadi diri sendiri because this is who you are and this is who I am.
always felt that this song had a lot of uh, emotion, and like a lot of feeling in it, that it's, it, it took me into kind of this universe straight away. Of course, later hearing it with uh, Putri and singing it with Putri, I just feel like it ended up exactly how I hoped that it would. I was like um, very surprised. Um, it was unbelievable. I feel like I'm connected into lyrics and the song is very presented me. So um, no words I can say um, except yes. So uh, who I am, uh, well the main melody is, uh, is a sample from my old like cartoon series uh, in Norway called Carus and Baktus. And then short and briefly, uh, I worked with a uh, uh, poetry in Indonesia before, thought her voice was amazing, I don't seen Peter online before and, and his uh, music I've uh, also heard and, and I saw that he was also doing really well in Asia so I thought like it's a really good it makes and match for um, for all of us that like we're all big in Asia and have a big fan base and I think it's a good way for us to get together and then we it went from being an idea to a real project and both of them killed it they, they, they delivered them amazing so um, I record the song uh, the song who I am in Oslo and it's just very incredible and amazing moment. I enjoyed uh, every second and every process of making this song who I am and because of record who I am um, finally I can experience snow for the first time in Oslo. <laughs> On behalf uh, of myself and uh, of course Petr and Patrick, we are all really, really grateful for all the love, passion and support we've uh, seen from, uh, from the platform and uh, seeing uh, how much people enjoy the, the song and uh, people comment on about it, discuss it, show, share the love in, on social media. I think it's really, really cool, really, really happy to see how much joy and the passion people show for the vocals of Petr and Patrick because uh, that stands for majority of the song, like they've done an astonishing job. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Aku Putri Ariani, umurku 17 tahun, dan aku adalah seorang musisi, penyanyi, dan pencipta lagu. Putri memang udah seneng banget sama nyanyi dari umur 2 tahun dan di umur 7 tahun Putri tuh bilang sama papa sama mama kalau tahun depan Putri pengen masuk TV and it happens jadi di 2014 Putri ikut Indonesia's Got Talent Ini udah siap ya? Iya lah, Putri semua banget ya Bener ya Alhamdulillah Putri jadi juara pertama dan itu benar-benar pertama banget Putri masuk TV karena Putri bilang e, waktu itu meskipun Putri nggak bisa lihat tapi Putri pengen lihat banyak orang. Jadi kalau Putri dibilang dulu tantangan terbesar Putri adalah stereotype. Sebelum Putri ikut AGT itu kerasa banget. Orang-orang itu dulu masih ngelihat Putri e, karena Putri ini tunanetra gitu. Padahal Putri itu pengen banget dilihat sebagai musisi seorang penyanyi yang sama seperti yang lain dan setelah AGT orang orang sekarang alhamdulillah mulai mengenal Putri uh, dengan karya Putri dengan lagu-lagu Putri dan alhamdulillah mereka semua menyukai Putri because of my talent my full name is actually Peter Elias Erik Strudsjörholt, which is a very long Norwegian name. I'm a positive guy, artist, songwriter uh, from Norway, who loves to make music and hopefully bring the listeners comfort when they listen to my music. So how I like got into singing was actually that my mom uh, took me to like audition for this choir. And I sang so much in that choir so I think it was there that I kind of uh, learned how to sing. And I think like for me, um, especially when I was maybe like I 
remember one of the first songs I wrote. I think I was like 13 and I was at my summer cabin. I wanted to go home because it wasn't so long until school started. I'd been there already for so many weeks. So now my friends were like back home and I was like, mom, can we go home now? She's like, no, we're going home like in one and a half week. And then I wrote a song which I still actually remember the hook for. I think it's the music in general, like how much I love music, like it's the best thing in the world for me. When you listen to a song that you go into this kind of uh, world where you kind of feel connected to me and also that you feel like you're not alone and hopefully relate to the lyrics and that it brings people comfort. The best thing about performing live is that the people are in front of you and that you can really like look people straight in the eye and like see their emotions and like feel how they're feeling. I'm proud that I'm, that's something I have to kind of remind myself at sometimes to try and like be happy with myself, take it all in. To me, I'm just so happy I get to do this and like. Be yourself and enjoy the ride. Hi everyone, I'm Alan Walker. Well, my full name is Alan Olav Walker. Growing up, my mom wanted me to learn to play the piano, but I wasn't that interested because music was never ever going to be something that I would work with, right? But little did I know. I was 16 years old, I think. Pretty much making music on my free time. I had an interest in creating music for quite some time without really telling anyone. My intention back in the days when I started making music was never to make money. Well, I just wanted people to listen to my music as much as they wanted to. So back in 2014 when I first released Fade, it took about three months and Peter Woodford posted a Facebook status where he asked for Norwegian house. I think I was 17. Uh, I was very unsure. I didn't really know what a manager even meant. Like, what, why would I possibly need it? So, but somehow he convinced me to sign a six month trial contract. And then we did fade to faded, seemed to sleep, alone, tired. And we just had like a really cool chemistry. And I decided to sign with them uh, on a full time. So we, it went very, very fast from the trial contract to when we decided to just let's uh, make this uh, partnership happen. When Alan came up to me and said someone wants to sign him, that thought was uh, very hard to comprehend. He was more introvert, lacking self confidence. With the music, he gained confidence. He could have been here and hid his talents, but he didn't. He posted them and the world told him, you're doing good. Working with Alan was very cool. He's so talented and I could see that this was very important to him. Everything with Faded has been a great journey so far and um, I'm very excited about how everything will continue. So this was the first time that I met Alan, uh, and he was really cool. Uh, laid back, uh, super professional musician, and um, Iselin as well. So after we released Faded with Sony Music, we decided to sit down and talk, how should we portray Alan Walker for the world? So we took my personal interest, which was like gaming, graphic design, programming and all of those kind of having more in common that you are the person in the background you don't you're not necessarily the one in the spotlight so that's where the hood the mask the backpack and just like the more mysterious overall look came about it wasn't necessarily solely because i wanted to hide myself it was more that i wanted people to focus more on the music than me as a person 
A lot of my friends have been with me throughout uh, my entire journey and uh, having the opportunity and the possibility to bring them on the journey and share my experience means a lot to me and, uh, and I'm very honored that I also have that opportunity to do so. Me and my brother and also my sister, we've always had a very close relationship and we've all stayed very much the same throughout uh, all the years. Although like the massive growth with the success of the music and everything. So I'm really grateful for each of them. I would say there's so much inspiration and influence to pick up on the road. And it's so hard to exactly pinpoint exactly one country or one city that can inspire you the most uh, and I think you can pick up any inspiration from anywhere in the world and I think that's an incredible uh, feeling as well because uh, wherever you go you kind of like manage to pick up uh, inspiration but um, I feel like the country that's given me the most inspiration growing up is Norway because it, it all started there for me, like I've grown up with that culture uh, and the, the ways of making music there. And I feel like that's, that's had the most uh, impact on me, myself and my musical career. An advice that I always like to give to people that's uh, wishing to start making music and uh, wishing to make it in the industry. I would say never ever give up and that was actually the same advice that I got in the very beginning and it's such an important thing because there, any producer would always come to a point where you feel like giving up and uh, it's, it's not a fun period but overcoming uh, that feeling is the best thing ever. And that was basically that you should never give up on making music no matter what people say or whatever people do to your music because uh, you do whatever you like uh, and you make whatever you love and uh, if you like it that means that your fans will most likely like it as well because you wouldn't have been putting out the product if you didn't like it. So thank you guys so much. Being a live performer is a completely different craft from sitting in a room or a studio writing and producing music. Alan Walker! Life changes when you have such a global hit as Alan. Alan Walker! It is absolutely one of the most exciting years for me as a person and also for my career. I'm very thankful for all the support. Like in this year or past eight months so far has been absolutely remarkable. From Alan Walker. Alan, they're waiting for you. I'm ready.
never give up on making music no matter what people say or whatever people do to your music because uh, you do whatever you like uh, and you make whatever you love. And just be yourself. Jadi diri sendiri. Be yourself and enjoy the ride.